All right, what's going on guys, it's Smilf here, and today we're going to be teaching you how to play Black Ops 4 Zombies the right way. You want to improve your gameplay? Well, this is the right place to be. You're going to learn at least something today about this game that you did not know. And if you're just getting into this game, well, pay attention, because this is going to teach you everything you need to know. So first of all, we are in Create a Class. We're going to start there. So, Elixirs. These, you can pick before the game, everything here customizable before the game starts um, these elixirs correspond to the d-pad so you press the buttons on the d-pad to activate these during the game so let's go ahead and look at these uh, the classics you do not spend any money for these you just have to rank up to unlock all of them they'll all be green um, unlimited activations they'll be on a recharge after you use them all of these from here on out common red legendary epic you have to either buy or um, you get from the laboratory through in-game currency, which is right here on the menu, laboratory. So go ahead and buy those uh, to get more. All right, next, talismans. So these are modifiers. You get to pick one per game. I mean, you won't have that many unless you spend a stupid amount of money. But um, go ahead and you can read through all these. Uh, you can just equip it there. You get one per game. It'll actually use it, and then it's gone. So the way you acquire these is through the laboratory again. Through these two, the 30 and 45, you have a chance of a talisman. And with the 75, you have a guaranteed talisman. So next, we're going to go ahead and go on to perks. Perks. You have 14 different perks to choose from. So before you get into each game, read through these. Make sure you know what will optimize your gameplay what you're playing for. If you're camping, you might want Deadshot, Stone Cold, Stronghold, and Electric Burst, and Mule Kick. If you're training, you probably want Victorious Tortoise, Quick Revive, Stamina Up, and maybe Electric Burst again, or PhD, or Dying Wish. There's a lot of good perks in this game. Make sure you read them. Um, pick the ones that will help your gameplay out the most. Modifier. So, every time you put a perk in the fourth slot, it will have a modifier. So, in order to activate that modifier, you must have all four perks bought. So, the modifier I have on right now, just the example, here, let's go to it, is unlimited full sprint. Players can fire while sprinting. This makes you extremely fast. Every single one of these has a modifier that is extremely overpowered. It is awesome. Take advantage of these. Make sure you're using them to their full potential. Get those going. All right. Next, we have special weapons. So, there's chaos in ether. We are on ether. We press R2 to go to chaos. L2 back. All right. There's four special weapons for the ether story, for the ether maps. Um, flamethrower. Well, hellfire, flamethrower, death machine. It's called overkill. Path of Sorrows, Takuya's katana, and Ragnarok. <coughs> DG5, DG4 is from Black Ops 4, or Black Ops 3. You know, you know what I'm saying. So, as you progress through the map, you use these more and more, you're going to level them up. Every time you level up, you get a new ability. So, level 1, you're only going to be able to use the ability using R2. You either have to press it repeatedly or hold it down. Um, that'll let you use your stage 1 ability. Level 2, you press L2 to use that ability. And you can still use the ability from level 1. Level 3, you have to press L2 and R2 and you still have access to the other two abilities. L2 and R2 will give you your level 3 ability, which for every single one, most of the time, is going to be your extremely overpowered ability. All right, next, equipment. These are pretty self-explanatory. Um, you level, you unlock these as you level up. My favorite so far is Wraith Fire because it just leaves fire on the ground, and it, it's awesome. So read through these as you unlock them. Um, pick what you like the most. Your starting weapon. So... You have these three categories. You have um, all these guns. This will actually be the weapon that you start the game with. So there's that. You unlock those as you level up, by the way. All right, next. We have the armory. So each one of these weapons, you get to pick your camo. So here's the camos. You get um, zombies camos for headshots. I'm not sure what these are yet, but I will soon. We're going to go ahead and look at the maps. So, if you did not know, Voids of Despair and 9 are for the Chaos Storyline, which in Create a Class can be found by pressing R2 to customize those. Got it? Got it. All right. And then, 
Classified and Blood of the Dead are the Ether storyline, which in Created Class are the first one you see. Good. Then you also have these different classes. The last one that you um, leave on and then press circle to exit this menu is the one you will have active during that game. So, now we have L1 and R1 to, um, to switch between these. The first one we have is public to play with other people. Classic to play by yourself or the friends. Um, these are like private games. You have the difficulty here and the map selection here. Rush, you can pick any of the four maps. Rush is an extremely fun game mode that I would recommend to everybody, new player or not. These are really fun. Tutorial, I have not done these, but I would assume it's covering what I'm covering in this video. Um, so don't worry about that, I guess. There you go. You're welcome. <laughs> and then, <laughs> no, so we're going to go ahead and go on to gameplay. Here's the HUD. This is a map for the HUD. There's a lot of stuff going on here. On the very right bottom corner, you're going to have your elixirs. You're going to press up for the up one, you know, etc. You pick the one that corresponds, the elixirs. So, once you activate them and they're timed, if they're timed, there will be a clockwise thingy, Bobby, that will run out as they're being used. And then once they run out, you can't use them anymore. You hear a plunk on the ground. Now... If your gobble gum is green, it will go on a recharge rate after it finishes activating. That um, recharge rate will go from down to up. Once it fills up and the entire thing is in color once again, none of it's shaded out, none of it's darker, then you can activate it once again. Indeed. So, let's go ahead and move right to the left. You have equipment, R1 to throw them. The green bar at the top indicates when you'll get a new one. When this green bar fills up, you have another additional equipment thingy to throw. Right to the left of that, you have special weapons. The green bar at the top, once again, indicates when this thing is ready to use. When it says press L1 and R1, then it's ready to use. Below that, you have the blue bar, which will indicate the level of the special weapon. The number to the left of the bar will indicate what level it actually is. The bar indicates how far on that level you are. Now... So right to the left of that is a shield. It will show how much shield health you have left. If you do not see a shield in this spot, then you need to go pick up a shield because you don't have one that broke. Okay, now let's talk about the drops in this game. There's one new drop, which I will explain now. It is a blue drop with two swords crossing. This is called full power. When you pick this thing up... <coughs> It fills your special weapon. You are able to use it immediately after picking this up. Now, a strategy that I always use is um, when I see this drop, most of the time my specialist weapon is already charged. So I go ahead and activate my specialist weapon right away. Um, use it up, use it up. And as soon as that thing starts blinking, I go to pick it up and I have my special weapon for double the amount of time. So, that is a helpful tip. Use it. Okay. Now, the carpenters. These are actually not trash anymore. The Carpenter, once you pick it up, fully heals your shield. It resets the shield health to full health. So when you see Carpenters, do not leave them. Always pick Carpenters up. They are extremely useful now, and they are essential to your gameplay. Good? Okay. So I forgot to go over custom mutations. Right to the right of the armory is this thingy, Bobby. You click on that. And then you get into a private game. You go to edit game rules and you can literally um, change the uh, game to whatever you want. You can play it however you want to play it. You want to start on round 1, 50,000 points, go for it. You want to have 300 health, go for it. You can do anything you want. You want to start on round 50, just do it. Do whatever you want. This game mode will not give you XP, but Chaos, Public, and Classic will give you XP. So... Oh, and what I was saying, there's an option in custom mutations that will highlight the shield parts <coughs> for you if you need to know where they're at. So use that to your advantage. And another feature that is on this game, you can actually add bots to the game. So, all you have to do... <coughs> So, all you have to do to add bots is go right here to add bot. Boom, boom, boom. I got three bots in my game. Got three teammates. I can't play 
I don't have internet access this weekend. I'm at my stepdad's house. I I can't play with my friends. I'm going to play with bots. So then you put three bots on your team. You don't want to play with bots. You want to play solo? Go ahead and remove them. Simple as that. Bots are an awesome addition to this game. If you don't have anybody else to play with or a stable internet connection, so use it. All right. That's probably about it, guys. Um, hopefully you learned something from this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it too. Leave a like if you did. Leave a like if it helped you as well. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.